I think it's great we have a president who seems like he's always looking directly into the sun. <laughs> Clinton could lie his way out of anything. Bush has truthful Tourette's. Clinton could get it. Bill Clinton could be right here and say, I am not here. We went to the Middle East and we stopped Hussein from sodomizing it. My favorite thing is when he gets something right, though, because he gets that little smirk on his face. <laughs> He's so happy that he finished the sentence correctly. That's why the United States will lead us all to peace. What he did was he went off on a tangent over there. I love tangerines. They're my favorite fruit. I like melons. John Madden, some people don't lo like him, some people do love him. I love John Madden because he makes me feel smart. Uh, he does. John Madden explains things in a football game you already know. He gives you no new information. He assists there with his NFL skadoodle drawing circles on guys' asses. I'll tell you things in a game you don't need to hear. John Madden will say things like, If the, if the, if the quarterback, if the fake runs the ball and the, and the receiver, if he catches it in the end zone, is that that's good? Is that's good? Is that that's good? Is that that's good? Is that good? Is that that's good? Is that good? Is that that's good? Bow wow wow yippee yo yippee yay. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna be a touchdown. Whoa! Whoa doesn't mean anything. It's a nonsensical phrase. He might as well be out there going na na, nanny boo boo. Because that's what Pacino does. He takes little kid sayings, turns them into tough guy phrases, no matter what the situation is. Someone comes to say the mom's going to kick your ass. Be like, you, sir, are a liar. Liar, liar, your pants are on fire! <laughs> Tonight, on a very special Seinfeld, Jerry's been doing drugs. Why do my fingers look like little people? <laughs> Who are these people? What are they doing? They're talking to each other. They're probably talking about me when they say it, George. Help me, George. I have no idea, Jerry. No idea. Somebody help me. Somebody. Shh. <laughs> hey, Jerry. <laughs> you look like you've been seeing little people on your fingers. All this comedy for all these years, we thought you're making this stuff up. Well, I guess you just let the cat right out of the bag. <laughs> Almost Jonathan Winters up here. <laughs> I did something just a little weird today. <laughs> something most people don't do. It involves a kitty cat, a dog, and a box of Tinker Toys. <laughs> not sure if I should be telling you this, but there's a spot on those animals you're not supposed to connect with a toy. <laughs> Meanwhile, in his Robert De Niro bit... Robert De Niro played the Frankenstein monster. He was in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Are you picturing that? Robert De Niro playing the Frankenstein monster? Look at me, huh? I am the Frankenstein monster. I have bolts in my neck. I'm electric and scary. Ooh. You could tell Casey Kasem was the voice of Robin in Batman and Robin on the Super Friends because Batman and Robin coming on the crime scene. Batman's like, who could have done this? There's Robin. Look, Batman, there's a letter from the Riddler. <laughs> and he writes. <laughs> Dear Batman and Robin, it's been a long time since I last saw either one of you. But while I was in prison, I came up with the most diabolical plot of all time. A plot to take over Gotham City and the rest of the world. But I needed a partner. Batman, because I'm the Riddler, I can't tell you who that partner is. But the answer lies in a song from 1974. The original voice of the Super Friends was actually Ted Knight, the guy from Caddyshack, Mary Tyler Moore. You laugh your ass off when you watch the other ones you hear, Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> People think I 
look like a lot of different people. Don't say John Belushi. If you don't think John Belushi, if you're a naysayer, hold on. I watch the Cartoon Network mostly for Scooby-Doo, more specifically the guest stars on Scooby-Doo. Because they always had a cultural icon, comedian, somebody that represented America on their Shaggy and Scooby come walking in. Zoinks like, hey, Scoob. Like it's the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> like it's the guys who do the fancy basketball tricks. Who be roo. What I wish they would do is update that for the cultural icons, comedians of today on just because I want to see the Chris Rock episode. <laughs> see what he'd have to say, Shaggy and Scooby come walking in, zoinks like, hey Scoob, like it's Chris Rock. Funny they put a black man on Scooby-Doo who's not a damn globe trotter. <laughs> and forget about Scooby Snacks, that dog's doing Scooby Crack. <laughs> Jay Leno is the only guy on earth who could have a bobblehead made of him that would bobble less than his actual head. No, it's, 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 no I thought it was very good. Yeah. Think at the beginning of every show, he's like, this is going to be a good show, here we go. I am the key master, are you the gatekeeper? <laughs> hey everybody, this is Dracula, he's a friend of mine. He's about a thousand years old, he's from Transylvania, we own a small blood donation business and receivership. Hey, who brought the dog? They're remaking all kinds of movies, I was going to remake any movie on earth, I'd remake The Wizard of Oz with Robin Williams and that's it. <clears throat> Let him do the whole dang thing by himself. So here we go. The Wizard of Oz, starring Robin Williams. Written by Robin Williams and directed by... Robin Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> My favorite thing to do. Here we go. Who dares bother the old and powerful Wizard of Oz? Oh my God, what an incredibly wonderful place. <laughs> Who the hell does your decorating? Silence! <laughs> Whoa, Taco Bell for lunch, huh? <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, that's a funny story. No, stop it. I'll make it funny. Here we go. Kansas flashback. <laughs> Listen, I was just out in Kansas, hamming up with the pigs, making bacon, you know what I mean? <laughs> Want a dirtier joke? Clock around the chickens. Chickens, you know, little damn peckers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's just in the little people like, for the Elbert Road, for the Elbert Road. Whoa, love you in Fantasy Island, man, stick around, make it a Willy Wonka, part two. Oompa Loompa, do what do, stick around, feel that's the gobstop. Not that funny, but fun to say, and we're dancing, and we're back. So then. <laughs> Imagine if that kept happening. Farley kept showing up in movies, be like a Tupac kind of thing, 30 years later, you go to a movie theater here, and a movie kept so top secret, even his friends never knew it was made. This summer, the legend lives on because Chris Farley is Batman. <laughs> you guys are not ready for this, but I don't care. <laughs> oh my freaking door! <laughs> I'm the Cape Crusader. I work in the shadows. I'm a creature of the night. And I have a little bit of what you'd call a weight problem. Hey, Scoob. Wait, how do I answer the cell phone? Rick Rear. Lick rear, Scoob? Ro, oh, Rick rear. Oh, click here. Like if you'd have said lick rear, Scoob, that would have been weird. Ring, 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 ring. Your cell phone's ringing. <laughs> I'm ringing. I'm your phone. I'm actually the president, but I'm stuck inside your phone. And I laugh like a monkey. <laughs> Hey, here's a guy with a phone call. I mean, the way this works is someone's on the line and they dial a number. And that number is yours. So then, boom, your phone rings. <laughs> and your phone's ringing right now. And that means somebody's probably trying to call you. If if it wasn't ringing, then probably there wouldn't be anybody trying to call you. But right now, boom, hey, someone's trying to call. <laughs>